It's hot out here. Serpents. I hope there is no serp serpents. Yeah, you better run. E famous YouTuber here. Dairy. It's hot out here. Ow! Oh, oh, Chris! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, oh. Hey! 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 Serpents. For what happens if there's serpents? If there's serpents, there's serpents, there's serps. Dairy. Hello and welcome to Springhurst Station, the beginning of the branch line that once went to the. Yaganya. <laughs> Why Ganya? No, yeah, to Yaganya. Today we will walk that, ride that, and see what remains. I am, and Jay is too, getting a really weird vibe from this place. Like, Here's an overview of the trip. Starting at Springhurst about 8 a.m. We'll make our way to Rutherglen eventually, have lunch, and then on bike to Wagonia. The Springhurst to Rutherglen section is abandoned and still in situ. The Rutherglen to Wagonia is a rail trail. I've got goosebumps. They've also got the pillar to the thought of a micro machine. This is the main line. Z plural that go to Melbourne to Aubrey and so forth. This is Springhurst Railway Station. This building here was built in the 1950s. There was an earlier um, train station. I'm not too sure if this is the ruins of it here. There's some older platform parts. Maybe that was the train station. Not too sure. Just notice under the signal box. Look at this. This is like a little cavernous area. Look at the amount of tumbleweeds. There's also a chair that's just engulfed in like little stick things. See what remains over here. This probably was just a goods platform. Yeah, I'd say this was a good shed grass platform here and then the main sort of shed base would have gone there. Possibly a dock platform as well. Ooh, fluid! Great. There's a large grain storage facility here. At one point, this would have fed uh, grain trains that came past going to Melbourne. And you can see the train line isn't even there anymore. So if trucks want to fill up, maybe they'll use it, but... Yeah, not too much remains. We're heading to Aubrey. Somewhere around here, there would have been a set of points that uh, split off the line going to Wagunya in this direction. Next to the line here, there's some like wiry stuff. Don't know if that used to control the points. There's also some jagged metal-y bits making my way over here now. It's sort of hard to see where the line was. There's some ballast still here that's the only real guide the line becomes a lot more obvious once we make our way down here uh-huh yeah you can definitely see where the line used to branch off there's no real signs of where points would have been i guess they must have um refurbished the line since then random like pole random like pole dairy this fish plate is from 1941 as you walk along the old roadbed, you can see that it's just littered in old dog spikes and the floor is just sort of made of ballast. This is definitely the old divergent. There's no longer even a track, but you've still got one of the old distance markers. We are now starting to leave Springhurst. I chuck in a goggle map shot of where the line used to diverge away from the main Aubrey Melbourne line. We're walking away now, you can see the line, main Aubrey line there. Um, and we're now well and truly on the Waganya line. Now we're out in the bush today. You're probably wondering, Matt, why have you dragged us out in the middle of the bush? The first of many level crossings that once traversed this railway line. As you can see, the rails are still in the floor all these years later. Dairy.
look closer, you can see the whole bridge is just covered in flood debris. I think this bridge faces a lot more water than the other ones because you can see it started to erode at the bottom. You can see the aggregate coming through. For the geological viewers at home, you would have noticed that the line is mainly ballasted with quartz type rocks. That's because this area of Victoria was heavily involved in gold mining back in the 1850s and so forth. All of these towns that were once on this line were all once very involved in gold mining, especially Rutherglen. Under this bridge, there is some very interesting rail remnants. We've got more of the um, quartz and stuff and granite I was telling you about, but what I think is very interesting is you can see the old pillars of the wooden trestle bridge that would have been here before. This concrete one, you can see the pillars back in there as well. So they obviously just chopped them off and whack this here some point in time, not too sure. The bits that hold the track together here are a little bit abnormal. I've never seen them with like a curvature like that they're normally just sort of flat in line with the rails but look at that a bit of a quirky one today here's an example of what i would sort of deem a more normal connectory bit you can see it's flat in line with the rail goes without saying but the telephone line runs along the old train line as they always do Serpents. I hope there is no serp serpents. I hope there is no serp serpents. I hope there's no. I hope there's no. There's no. There's no serpents. We're out here in the middle of the paddocks, and there could be a slippery, slimy, wriggly, slimy, sliggery, slippery man. Serpents. 
What happens if there's serpents? We don't know, we will get bitten. Serpents. What happens if there's a serpent? A snake man with a scaly hand. Serpents. What happens if there's serpents? If there's serpents, there's serpents, there's serps. Watch out for slippery serpents. Lily put tennis club. Dairy. Let's have a look in the prestigious clubhouse. Looking good. We have wonderful features such as a desk. Wow. We have a tap. No, it doesn't work. Some random chain and rope. And that's um pretty much it for the Lily Put Tennis Club, except for one very important part. Dairy. No, it's not the swing set. It is the absolutely magnificent toilet. How do I get in? What? Why can't I get in through the toilet? The oh, look at that. It's like a bucket. Or is it a drop toilet? I don't even know, but it's funky. There is no toilet paper, boys. Fantastical toilets. Snack time. Dairy. 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 Just next to the tennis club is the first impressive bridge we have on this line. The river is pretty much all dried up. This isn't the bridge of the River Kwai. This is the bridge over Black Dog Creek. And just like the other concrete bridge we saw earlier, it's got the old stumps of the wooden trestle bridge that predated the concrete monstrosity we have today. Just like the other infrastructure, it's got markings. How incredible is that? Oh, this is absolutely incredible. They've even got a sauna. Oh, it smells like a sauna too. Gear's gone though. That looks like it's long gone. Welcome to Lilliput Railway Station. This is all it ever was, as far as I know, just a little bus stop, pretty much. Is there any remnants inside the station building? So far, so bad. There's a bit of wood, okay. There's really not much. There are some random hooks. Maybe the hooks once held a station sign or when the next train was coming, I have no clue. Dairy. Train now departing Lilliput. Next stop, Rutherglen. Getting the heebie-jeebies in here. 
that big ominous building is Baker Seed Co. The truck now descends into where there was a bushfire at some stage in the recent past. On ground zero, there's this weird thing. What is this? Maybe it's the remains of some form of telecom piece of technology. And as soon as the fire started, it stopped. It just goes back to normal. <laughs> Dairy. So many flies! Oh my! Turn around. Yeah. yeah. Dairy. On the right hand side of the train line are some huge mullet heaps from gold mines. I love how long some of this litter has just been out here. Look how faded this Coke can is. It's just absolutely bleached. I have to be honest, I'm feeling a bit blue now. We've been walking for a long time. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm having a wheelie good time. Hey, hey little fella, are you okay? You're looking a little bit blue. Okay, sorry about that pun. That was a really bad one.
On the sign, it has a zero and a three. There's like a little bridge and someone built like a really sweaty fence that's so bad. I've noticed that the fish plates have a large amount of holes. Okay, we're entering into the inner sanctum of Rutherglen now. And as you can see from here on out, the track is more or less gentrified and turned into a rail trail. Dairy. There's another like massive Chad style padlock here. Looking towards Springhurst is level crossing. And that is looking towards Morganya. Dairy. You can see here, it looks like at some point they've attempted to pave over the rail track, but they never actually removed it. For this part of the track, looks like they kept it low budget. They just poured gravel all over the old rail track. Whereas up here at the actual rail trail, they've just removed all rails. Rail track, rail, <laughs> rail, rail, rail track. As we start to enter the station precinct at Rutherglen, Glen, we're greeted with a wonderful signal. What I find really surprising about this signal, it's in the middle of town, but there's been no attempt to block off the ladder. Dairy. Now that we're up here, we can see what remains of the little foot area and the main signal itself and of course the little spirey thing. Looking towards our intimate death. Looking towards Springhurst. Looking towards Wagunya. There is the signal and right here is an old milestone. 169 miles. Hollow. 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 I personally find it amazing that so many level crossings in Rutherglen still bear their rail warning stencils. And a train hasn't run here in almost 20 years. This is pretty neat. They've left the old switch for the point that would have directed the trains into the goods yard. It's still here. In front of us is the points and the beginning of the Rutherglen Glen Railway Precinct. Dairy. Here on the Murray Valley Highway, you can see that the level crossing still has the old manually operated gates that would have closed off the level crossing. And they've just left them here as a memento. Which just makes it very quite interesting. Here are some info boards about some rail history. And here begins the Murray Mountains Rail Trail. Wonderful bike riding in the wine areas. Mm, some wonderful wine and cheese as we toodle along. D3635, a mixed train on the Springhurst Wagunya line, circa 1920-1940. That's just some of the amazing eating that this area offers that I don't care about. Here's an overview of the trip. Crossing the train lines. All right, big grain complex, station building there. All right, it's the afternoon. We're now in Rutherglen. I'm gonna eat food and we'll jump on the bikes. This is Rutherglen, by the way. It's a pretty trendy town. You like eating wine and cheese and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, pretty historic. I'll give it to Rutherglen though. If it wasn't for all the cheese and fine dining and things that just infuriate me, this place would probably be a ghost town. Get a sausage, chuck it there, chuck it on the grill, and let him sizzle away. We're back, we're weaponized, and we're ready to go. Welcome to Rutherglen Railway Station. <laughs> Rutherglen Lions Club have taken over the old station building, and that's their House. If you look down the corridor there, you can see the ticket window is still in place. A bit of a quirky one today. We got some public bathrooms here. All the grounds have been turned into a public park. Dairy. Let's make our way onto the platform here through the bushes. Okay. You can see that the lines have just fenced in the platform and made it a little outdoor area. Little festive bike rack here in the 
the vein of an old train. Dairy. Would have been a grass platform back in the day, I guess. Get a bit of a look under the awning here, through the wine vines. Um. Old platform here, some type of old signaling remains. All right, let's jump up the steps. Yeah, just some type of switch thingy. All right. You can gather what the station would look like back in the day. A bit of a quirky one today. The edge of the platform has definitely seen better days. I don't think it would be rather glad if there weren't actual grapes. Yeah, this, this is just a quick little video. I just wanted to sort of touch base with you guys, let you know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to have a new review video out next week. I was hoping to have it out this week, but I just didn't. Uh... Now, I have no clue what this little thing was. It sort of looks like a little shunter shed or something. Not really too sure. We have a wonderful old V-Line Rutherglen sign here and some little remnants on the notice board. This is really cool. This is the remains of the tourist railway that operated a few years after the closure of the line, but that's all folded now. Quick little squeeze. I think it's still in use, but obviously where the trains would have filled up here has been used in a long time. There would have been a siding here where they would have filled up with grain. This way to Springhurst, that way to Wakanya. Let's go behind the silos. Pretty standard stuff. Yeah, just like standardized silos. Old way bridge here. Yeah, this way bridge here looks a lot more active. I reckon this is the one they still use. Wiki Produce, Grain Fertilizer Trading Wangaratta. Yeah, that's probably who operates these silos now. Dairy. Oh man, party poopers. Look at that, look at the amount of cable ties. Grain Elevators Board, 13077. Toilet. Love this toilet. Dairy. What you're looking at here is the Uncle Toby's factory. At one point in time, this did have a railway siding. I cannot detect any remains of it today. Welcome to Waganya, Victoria. That's looking towards Springhurst. The train line would have whipped on through there. You can see the old station mount and there's still some concrete ruins of the building. Someone has erected a fence. I've got goosebumps. I know they would have had a passenger building here and also goods yards and good sheds and stuff like that. If you look closely, there's still lines in the ground of where the sleepers lay and you can see it's about one, two, three roadbeds deep. So this would have been the yard, at least some of it. I'm guessing that that mound was probably the passenger station. They might've had a goods building there, but there was probably another sort of goods loop that came around here because you can still see there's some sleepers in the ground and it went down there maybe there was more goods yards i'm really not too sure the uncle toby's factory might have had its own siding maybe they got the goods off here and then just trundled it down the road a bit i'm not too sure i really don't know but what i do know is that this railway line never connected to new south wales Corora is just across the border but they had standard gauge and this railway line was broad gauge because it's a victorian railway line there was never a bridge 
that went from Waganya to Korra, thus unifying the states. So this is just where it ended. That's how far away we are from the main station mound. These rails come here. But yeah, they seem to just keep going. Even looks like there were more train tracks over there. Looks like some sleeper ruins have been ripped out of the ground. But yeah, the train track keeps coming down this way. Humongous pepcorn tree in the middle of the track. Dairy. Dairy. So the train track seems to just come to this road here, Blanche Street. Someone tell me if the train track once went down Blanche Street, but it definitely doesn't anymore. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the end of the line in Waganya. There's a significant mound. So yeah, I think this might have been the end of the rail yard. I'm really not too sure. There's also this whole open green space. I don't know if that was part of the railways as well. Dairy. Across from the remains of the station, we have the remains of a public toilet. Dairy. Some type of concrete thing here. Toilet ruins. Here is the splintered ruins of a toilet block. I'm kind of surprised they haven't cleaned this up, but maybe I guess it's historic. You can see it's been painted a few colors over the years. And here is the toilet itself. That is absolutely magnificent. I think we've got to have a look inside. <laughs> What's in there? I know it's kind of lame, but that's all that really remains in the building form of Gunya Station. The council has erected a little train-esque rest area for the riders. Sink, toilet, fancy pants. This looks new. I feel like this was probably built after the rail trail. But it's also kind of not finished in here. Little drink tap for the rail trail here. Stay hydrated. That's looking towards Springhurst. There's actually still some railway track in the ground here. I don't know if this is an original alignment or just a random dumping, but yeah. Just uh, how incredible is that? Off here in the middle of nowhere, there's the foundation of a something. I think this would have been the base to a water filling tower that would have filled up the steam trains back in the day. I'm just saying that because it's got a tube here, so there could have been a huge spout that came out and then filled the trains, but I feel like this would have been closer to the station back in the day. It's just been sort of dumped here. Past the RV dump point is the dumping ground for rail track. There's the main station mount. Random ruins. Not too sure. Just a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of random ruins at this stage. Hey! I wonder if these will be reused one day. Believe in yourself. Uh, wear hats backwards to appeal to youth. All right, so here I am, voiceover style. The wind completely destroyed this audio, but I was basically just saying, mission complete, we finished the walk, and yeah, it went very, very well. Hope you all enjoyed. If you got this far in the video, I need you to comment dairy in the comments. Dairy. Please comment dairy. And thanks for watching, everyone. Check out this excellent video of when I walked the Summerton Link train line thingamabob a billion years ago. I'm sure most of you haven't seen it. All right, thank you very much. I'll uh, see you in that video. This has been Panda Explores. Believe in yourself. Uh, wear hats backwards to appeal to youth. Dairy.